from Bach or whatever song you would like to, to understand, okay? Okay, let's see. I am gonna share the screen right now. I am gonna uh, put um, the sheet music, no, sheet music, no. This, give me a second, give me a second. I am looking for the program here. Give me a second. I have to, I have to share screen. Can you, can, would you let me share screen? Oh, there I can. I can't listen to you. I don't know if, if the sound went off or what happened. I, I can't listen to you. Can you listen to me? Oh, I, I, I still can't listen to you. Can you listen to me? I I I listen to you, but very little. Let me know. There I can listen a little bit more, but not so much. Mm, more or less, not so much. Let give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, but talk talk a little bit now. No, I still cannot. If not, I can send you this uh, my Zoom link also. If you need it. A little bit. It's quite uh, unusual because I could I could hear the whole new set and the whole thing. Now it's like it's very little the volume. Look at the microphone. Maybe the microphone of the computer. What? Yeah, uh, now I can hear it a little bit more. Yes, yes, okay. now it's better. I think we uh, lost the microphone. Okay, now. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's 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 a good thing to know. Okay, kids. Okay, so uh, do you know what a chord is, for example? Do you know how to build chords? Do you know how to build to build up a chord in the piano? How, how to make a chord? Do you know how to make chord on, on piano? For example, uh, G major, you know how to play G major, for example? Can you show me the camera so I can see? That, ah, okay, that is D major. Very good. Uh, for example, um, G minor, how, how do you play G minor? Let's see. 
Very good, very good. Uh, for example, C diminished chord. Do you know how to play C diminished? Or C augmented? No? Don't worry, don't worry, because I, I will explain you. I will explain you right now. Okay? So, um, before we go with chords, we have to see intervals, but I would like to, to have a little approach to chords first. So, uh, when we... Uh, the definition of chord would be the context of music okay a chord is the context of music okay so it gives us a surrounding the chord in, in music how do we build up chords okay we have to stack thirds okay it's an interval we are gonna see that in a, in a few seconds okay but I am gonna put a formula here, a formula to build chords. Okay, so we go, we we start on a note called fundamental or tonic. Okay, from this note, we have to stack thirds. Okay, for example, we will stack a third major, so we have to count four. Okay, half steps. And then we will do a third minor. We have to count three half steps, okay? This is the major chord, okay? Whenever we do this formula, we have a major chord. For example, let's go to, let's go here. If I want to come to build a, a chord, I start on C, for example. I stack a third major, so I count one, two, three, and four. So I put here a third major, okay? From E, I count again. We have to count what? A third minor. Third minor is three half steps, okay? So I count one, two, and three. So this is a major chord, for example, okay? Another example, let's, let's do another example. Let's go to A. Let's do the same process. So we have to do four half steps and then three half steps. So we do one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three. This is a major chord, okay? Can you hear the the, the 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 piano here or not? Can you hear it? Well, this is a major chord. Let's do another one. Let's go with a black key now. F sharp. So, would you would you mind tell, telling me what how how do I proceed? I cannot hear you. You, you can um, what, three half steps up. So what notes do I have to put? Um, G, G sharp, A. Okay. And C sharp, isn't that right? So we have F sharp, one, two, three, four, A sharp, one, two, three, C sharp. This is F sharp major chord, isn't that right? Very good. Let's see other formulas. So we stand here. Let's do this. Let's do this. I will copy all of this. 
And now what we have is we are gonna um, put this like this. Okay, and we are gonna take we are gonna turn around the relationship. So we are gonna have first minor chord, uh, first third minor and then third major. Okay. This would be a minor chord, okay? So let's go to the FL studio. Let's go to the, 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 the piano. Let's build a minor chord. Let's start here. What we have to count? We have to count three half steps and then four half steps. Isn't that right? So we have one, two, three. And then one, two, three, and four. Isn't that right? Very good. So look at the sound of this chord. Okay, let's do another chord. Let's do another one. Let's do F minor. What do I do now? I have to count. I have to use this formula. So this formula here. So what do I do? Um, Three. Yeah, you count from F sharp to uh, count from F sharp to G to D sharp. More, very good. And then to D flat. I mean A to I mean A to B. Okay, so we have C, isn't that right? Very good. You look at the at the color of the chord, okay? Very good, very, very good. Okay, so we have these two formulas. We're gonna see two other, but let's do an, a little bit more of practice. Let's go with E, e minor chord. Let's try to do E minor. So tell me, how do I proceed? How do I do E minor chord? Um, F to A sharp to, I mean, to A flat to A to, wait, you count from E to F? Yeah. To, to F sharp. To Very good. G, uh, G sharp to A. I mean, from, from from A to A sharp to B. So the last note is this one, isn't that right? So we have this, isn't that right? Very good. It, this is the E minor chord. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do D minor chord. What notes do I have to put? We have to count from here, three half steps. Very good, F. And then? F sharp to A to A sharp to, uh, wait, no, G. To G sharp to A. A. So we have here our B minor chord. Is it all right? Very good. Let's see another formula. We have four formulas. We have seen these two. We have two more to go, okay? So now, instead of this, we are gonna see we have three minor. Have here three half steps. So this is called the diminished chord. Do you know this one? Uh, 
or not? Diminish, a diminished core. Let's let's see, let's see. So we start on D, okay? Let's do the diminished chord. We have to build up this chord by thirds, okay? So we have three half steps, then other three half steps, okay? So we have F and then what? I can't listen to you. Like exactly three more, it's gonna be A sharp. This one, do you mean A flat or G sharp? So listen to this. This is a diminished chord, okay? We have to count three half steps and then three half steps, okay? Let's do another one. Let's do A diminished chord. What do we do now? From A to A sharp to B to C. Very good. And then? And then B to C sharp to D to E sharp. Very good. Listen the sound, the sound is very, very sinistrous, like very mysterious sound. Let's go with C diminished chord. This one, you mean? Isn't that the right? And then F sharp. Isn't that right? Very good. Okay. We have this diminished chord. Let's do another one. Let's do the last one. And then we, we see the last chord formula. What we have to see. From G. How do we go? How do we do the diminished chord? From, from G. Um, A star. Very good. To E. Wait, no. To, I mean to C sharp. Very good. Listen to this. That's right. G, A sharp, C sharp. Okay. Very good. Let's see the last chord we have to, we have, we know. Well, uh, we we know now that we that exists. This is the augmented chord. What? That we we have the augmented chord. Have Okay, we have these four formulas, major, minor, diminished, and augmented. Okay, augmented is two times four half steps because we have third major and then third major. So for example, let's see. From here, if we want to do an augmented chord, we have to count four and then four again. One, two, three, and four. Listen to this. Uh, 
okay? Let's try to do from 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 the an augmented core. From D sharp to E to F to F sharp. Very good. And then? And then F and then A to, um, wait, no, G to G sharp to A and then to A sharp. Very good. Very, very good. So we have the segmented chord. Let's go with another one. Let's do uh, F, F augmented chord. Mm -hmm. um, F to F to G sharp. Wait, F to A. Good. To C sharp. Very good. Listen to this. Okay. Let's see another one, another chord. Let's do two more, okay? Let's do... Oh, um, B. B, B augmented, yeah. B to E to G sharp. Be careful, be careful. We have one, we have zero, one, two, three, and four. What note is this one? Oh, um, D sharp. Very good. And then? And then G, um, A. Wait, no, G. Very good, very good. So we have this chord. Okay. Now let's do one one more chord. Let's do C sharp chord augmented. Okay. And then we go, we are gonna go with another thing. Because you understood very well this. Um, C sharp to F. Very good. To A. Very good. Listen to this. Okay. We have done this chord so now let's proceed with a new thing this is the formulas to build up the chords okay major minor diminished and augmented okay um so remember these are the chords and the chords are the like the context of music it's like um it's like the I, how do you say this like if it was a, a wall in, in, in a house, okay, this wall contains the, 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 the house, okay, and then we have other things in the house that are secondary, but we need the walls to build up the house. So the chords more or less are the same thing in, in music. They are like the thing that sustains the whole, okay, it's the context of music. So for example, now we have said this, we are gonna go with, um, do you know the C major scale, for example? Oh, uh, yes. It's... C, ma C major scale, the scale of, of C. What notes does? Very good, let's write them down, let's write them down. We have C, 
กับ d e f g a and b very good very good so what happens now we have seen chords but these chords are this is is the formula it's not music itself music we have music when we combine chords how do we combine chords we combine chords with scales okay yeah. so for example we have c major scale we have these notes only to play and to do music so for example if i have to play a c chord i have to do c e and g okay what chord do i have here since c e and g is a major minor diminished or a major very very good then we have this one d d what what is this d major minor diminish no be careful there look at the piano look at the piano and count the half steps between each note sure look look again we have d d sharp d is zero d sharp would be one e two f three we have there three half steps what very good very good let's keep going on e So have E, G, and B. What is this? D is a minor. Very good. F. Oh, so what B. happens with it? F has C. Okay. We can continue here. C again. Mm -hmm. So what do we have here? Uh, major, minor? Uh, major. Very good. Then G. Um, major. Very good. A. Minor. Very good. And B. Diminished. Very good. That's very nice. Very nice. So, with 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 these seven notes, we have to build chord progressions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's build a chord progression. How do I build a chord progression? okay we have one general rule i will i will write it here okay rules to do chord progression one um skip Note in common between no uh, between chords. Second rule: move the less possible. Okay, these are the rules. Okay, keep notes in common and move the less possible for example let's say let's say let's do a, a chord progression we can create whatever chord progression we want then we are going to see other rules but first of all we can do whatever we want so we have c major chord and then we go to f major chord from this one okay so f major chord what notes does f contain f c and a very good so is there any common note between these two mm, there's g there's c very good c c is a common note between these two so c will stay mm -hmm. now we are gonna go from e we have to go to f 
are from G to A. Look at this. Okay, we have done. Okay. Then I am gonna do another chord. I'm gonna go from F to D minor. What? I'm gonna go from F chord, this one, this chord over here, okay? This chord is F, okay? I want to go to D chord, the D, D minor chord. Uh, you could keep the F. Very good. And what else I can keep? Um, the A. Very good. That's very good. And the C, what do I do with the, with the C? D. Very good. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, we have three chords. Very good, very good. Let's go to G chord from D, okay? You could keep the D. Very good, that's right. And, and uh, the G. The G, I put the G, isn't that right? And what other note do I have to put? B. That one? Very good. Look at this. Oh, wait. Let's go with the last chord. The last chord will be C major oh, chord. Um, you can keep the G, which is the only note you can do. Very good. What else do I do? Um, add a C and an E. Very good. Where do I put them? E uh, and C. Where do you, do you think you have to put the... Put the E first, then the C the, first. Very good. That's very good. Listen to this whole progression. Very nice. Isn't that right? Very nice, very nice, very good, very good. Okay, we have the, the, the chord, okay? Let's do a melody. Okay, let's 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 talk about this is for for chord progressions, okay? Let's talk about a little bit about the melody, okay? How do we do melodies? How do we construct melodies? Well, we have two things to to have in mind, okay? The melodies, um, melodies are uh, real, how do you say in English is a tone chord or non-tone chord? We have tone chord, non-tone chord. Basically, this is the same as saying that for example, the tone chord is the notes that belong to the chord. Oh, like, like if okay. that was the melody, that would be a tone chord, right? Yeah, the notes. Yes, that's right. Notes that belong to the chord are tone chord. And notes that don't belong to the chord are non-tone chords. So this will be notes that does not belong to the chord. Okay. For example, let's say, let's say an example. Let's give an example. C major chord. We have what notes? C, E, and G. Isn't that right? So these notes are tone chords, this one here, okay? If I have, for example, in the melody, a note that is F, this F would be non-tone chord. Why? Because F doesn't belong to the C chord, okay? Yeah. 
So with this in mind, let's try to build a melody. I am not going to be so specific about the melody. We are going to see some other things with the melody. But with this information, we can do some, uh, some things, OK? So let's try to build something. Let's try to, to do something. For example, let's do a, let's go with G, C, and then let's do something like this. Um, you could also put a yeah, B. What? You could also put in a Next one, you could put in a D for like a tone. Yeah, we can put a D. What else? What do you think we can do after? Um, you could put in a G. A G? Wait, no, an F. I mean an e. F. Very good. Let's do the following thing. Instead of F, let's put a C. Okay, this C, it's called passing note because C doesn't belong to the D chord. Okay, and we will do D, C, and B. So this is a passing note, a note that we start in a real note, in a tone chord, we pass through a note that doesn't belong to the chord, and then we go to another tone chord from a, another chord, for example. Let's see what we have here. And then the last note, we can do, for example, G over here, and the last one, C. What? Give me a second. So. The tone chords are the one that are in green, okay? The one, the note that is with violet is a non-tone chord, okay? Like this one. Okay? Let's hear this again. Isn't that good? Doesn't sound this good? That's good. That's very good. Okay, so okay, we have to try to understand some aspects about this. Okay. The chords we have seen a little bit about chords. It's not so difficult. Okay. Each time you want to build chords, you have to have these two things in mind at first. We are going to see other stuff, okay, in the in the following lessons. But first of all, try to have this in mind. Keep notes in common, and you have to move the less possible, okay, between each chord. For melody, we have tone chords and non-tone chords. So what we have seen before, okay. Um, let's see. So for example, here. We have G, C. G and C are from the chord of C. So there are tone chords. Then we have A. That's right. Then we have B. C is a non tone chord. So we have to see what non tone chord is. Let's continue. We have B. G and C. All of these are tone chords, isn't that right? Let's see a little bit the non tone chords, okay? Number one, passing note. Okay, passing note. This example, For, okay? This is a passing note. What is a passing note? Is when you go from one tone chord to another tone chord, and in the middle, By a non -tone you have code. The, exactly the, like the non tone code is kind of like a, a bridge. 
You need to get from one side to another, so you put in a non-tone code. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Very good. So, for example, let's do another example of a non-tone chord. Let's do, for example, here. Let's see. Let's do here another. Here. Okay. Or here. V is, v is the bridge. Yeah, that's right. Very good. You're very good in this. So this is a passing note, okay? And then we have. Um, we have B here. This one is also another one. Isn't that right? Yes. Um, so, for example, let's let's listen to this. Isn't that good? Isn't that sounding very good? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's very good. Um, so we have these three notes are passing notes. Isn't that right? Yes. That's right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's 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 have another thing in mind when we build up chords. We have this Roman numeral we are gonna talk about, okay? When we build up chords, so we understand a little bit more what you have to do when you build up a melody and a, a chord progression. There are some rules, okay? I am not gonna go with all rules, but some, some at least. The first chord of the song or the composition always has to be the one. And the final chord, of the composition also has to be one. So let's write this down. Let's write this down. Let's see. We have um, a chord. Let's put three here. One has, oh, one. Uh, this is in Roman numeral, okay? This is one in Roman numeral. Do you understand that? Yes. Has to go at the beginning. I don't know how to write beginning. I'm not sure if this is a good one. And at the end. So that. G is at the beginning, G has to be at the end. Uh, give me a second, give me a second. Five chord has to go as the last before chord. So for example, we have, let's see, let's see this. This chord is C, C major, isn't that right? Yeah. It's called over here. And this chord also is, is the C major, isn't that right? Yes. And this one, what chord we have here? Uh, G. Very good. So what Roman numerals are those ones? Are one C and five G, okay? Mm -hmm. Why that? Because one, one is home, okay? One gives us the sensation of home. Listen to this. Listen again the, the whole thing, and you will listen how when it reaches C, it's like we come up, uh, come we, we come again to home. Okay, it's like we started on home. Okay, we go to school, we come, we go, uh, we go to with friends. Okay, and then uh, uh, five chord, and then we go again to home. Let's let's uh, look at. This. Isn't that right? It's like C is home. So more or less, this, these rules here are for improving the, the way you put notes, okay? How you put the notes. Then these two other uh, rules here are some rules important for you to build up chords in a way that has some coherence with the whole thing, okay? So one is home, 
So one sh shall always be, um, one shall always be the first one and the last chord, okay? And the five chord, okay? Uh, always, always has to be the last before chord, okay? In this case, the G major. So look at how many things we have done, okay? We have built up a whole melody. Let's do uh, another exercise. Let's do, for example, do you do you know Jingle Bells, the song? Yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's let's do that uh, song. Let's build up the song, okay? So we have mm, Okay, so we have the melody there. Let's put it down an octave. Okay. So oh, let's hear this whole thing. Okay, we have the melody here, isn't that right? Let's put the chords and let's see what notes and what chords are we do using. We're on the C major scale right now. So we have C major chord first. It is the one, isn't that right? The one chord. So we have. And then again. A two, two, two chord. Wait. Give me a second. I have to improve a little bit this. This shall be better now. Now we have to change chord. Now we have F chord. So what notes do I have to put? Very good, very good. And G moves up to A. Very good, very good. That's right. Let's listen what we have. And now we have to move to G major chord. So what notes do I put? 
um, um, C changes into a D. Very good. And F. Yeah. F changes. I mean, F stays. Uh, I mean, F goes to F yeah. sharp. F to F sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, we have G, G chord. Like oh, this. G. G major. Oh, um, and then F changes to G. Very good. And then A changes to B. Very good. Let's listen to this. Okay, isn't that right? Isn't that very good? Yep. Let's let's list let's analyze the melody now. We have in the chords we have one, four, and five. C major, okay, C major twice, F major and G major. Okay. Let's see the, the notes. Let's see the notes. Let's try to analyze what notes we have here. So um I'm gonna put a little bit like this. So here we have C major chord. What is this? A tone chord or a non-tone chord? A tone chord. Very good. Very good. Let's keep going on. We are on C here. C major chord. Okay. And we have E, G, C, D, E. Well, um, D isn't a tone chord, but the rest are very good very good this one is a passing note okay so i put it with this color okay it's understood that very good then we have f major chord and here is this what is a tone chord and what is not tone chord Wait, no, everything is a, wait, yeah, every, wait, no, E isn't a tone chord. Very good, very good, very good, that's right. And then let's, then we will, we are going to see another, pass, uh, we are going to see other type of non-tone chords. Let's keep going on. We have G major chord here. What notes are real and what notes aren't real? E. Like, to, yes. This and then these ones are 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 all tone chords, isn't that right? Very good. Let's see what is this. Let's see other type of of of, of notes. We have passing note. Then we have neighbor neighbor note. Neighbor note. So neighbor note. What is a neighbor note? Is when we go from a note that is from the chord like this, we go up to a note that isn't from the chord like this one E, and then we go back to the D original, okay? Okay? So listen. We are here. This E, okay? will be a neighbor note okay why because from d we go to e and then we go back to d it's we go and we, we come back if we do for example something like this all these two will be passing notes why because we are passing from d to, a, to g with a bridge isn't that right but in this case, we don't have a bridge. We have a neighbor note, okay? We go up and then we go back to the same note, okay? Okay. Yeah? Yes. And then, this is a neighbor note, okay? And then we have to see this one. What is this one? In this case, this one, what would be? 
the three nodes. We are from we are going from G from F to D. And in the middle, what we have here. E, very good. Okay, so it's like a sort of bridge, isn't that right? So we go from one real note, a tone chord, to another tone chord. This E would be what? A non tone chord. Very good. And how? what name we put it to this one that we know? We know the name of this one, we have seen before. It starts with P. The what? What what non-tone chord is this one? An E chord. From these two, we have a passing note or a neighbor note here. Um, it's e, a this E. Passing note. Very good. Very good. That's right. Give me a second. So. We should have this. So let's look at the whole picture a little bit more. So we have, look at this. All these, we have plenty of notes that belong to the chord. Only this one, these three, and this one are not from the chord. Okay? Is there any questions? Can I can I uh, leave you some homework to do? Yes. Okay. So try to build up a chord progression of four chords. Okay. And try to build a melody over that. Okay. Try to build four chords, whatever you want of those. Okay. The, I, I I suggest you to do the first one would be the first chord and the last one would be also the first chord, but you can have whatever you want and then put some melody on it. Okay. And try to have in mind these tone chords and non-tone chords. Try to build up what you what, what, with the elements you have. Okay. Try to see if you imagine or, or can do something about it. Okay. That's very good. Any questions from these you want to ask me? No? No, no questions. No questions. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I will see you when we have lessons again. Is there, your daddy is there? Okay, do I ask him? Yes. Okay, yeah. Wait, no, when do we have lessons again? Oh, um, it's next week at like the same time, which- Excellent. Is, it's like Monday, yeah, Monday at four o'clock next week. Very good, very good. That's that's good. Okay, so I will see you then. Okay. Okay. Very good. Well, have a good weekend, and try to practice a little bit what we have seen today. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Please, you're welcome. Bye bye. Bye.